All right, boys and girls, welcome to another edition of Mr. Bell's Math. I uh, just wanted to introduce a new topic. Uh, I've mentioned it before in the past, and we're going to talk about it today. And that is classifying rational numbers, or basically just rational numbers in general. So on the board here, I have uh, another Venn type diagram. We, I've shown one before when we talked about whole numbers and integers. And we're going to add a circle to that. And I believe I even described that to you. So first of all, let's talk about whole numbers. Just make sure we're on the same page. Whole numbers are numbers that are to the right of zero on the number line. Numbers like, oh, one would be a whole number. All right. If I had one, if I had five would be a whole number. I don't know. 17 could be a whole number. You could also have 128. All these are whole numbers because they're numbers that are to the right of zero on the number line. Okay. Then I told you about this new thing called integers. And you were like, wow, Mr. Bell, we love integers. We love it so much. So integers are numbers that are to the left of zero on the number line, which are negative numbers. So, but they also include zero. All right. That's one of the numbers that are included, zero. But you have negative 1, you have negative 3, you have negative 27, you have negative 100 and, if I can make my 1 right here, there we go, 1, 125. Okay, all these numbers are to the left of 0. And integers also include zero. So your negative numbers are integers, but they also include your whole numbers. Okay, that's why the, the whole number circle is inside the integer circle. So rational numbers includes everything else. All right. It also, I mean, but let me make this straight. It also includes whole numbers and it also includes integers. But rational numbers kind of fills that space in between on the number line. All right. So I'm talking about one half. So it covers fractions. I'm also talking about 0 0.33, so it covers decimals. These are both to the right of 0 on the number line. It also includes negative 2 thirds, so fractions to the left of 0 on the number line. And it also includes numbers like um, negative 0 0.25. Okay. So all these are different types of rational numbers. But don't get me wrong, rational numbers also include your integers, which include your positive and your negative numbers. And it also includes whole numbers, numbers that are to the right of zero on the number line. Okay, because all of these can be expressed as a rational number. And when I say a rational number, I'm talking about a decimal or a fraction. 